In this unit I will explain to you what a programming language is. We'll also look at some examples of a few different programming languages. Computer programming is a way to tell one of the dumbest objects, a computer, to do smart things. Yes, you heard right, a computer is not clever. It is just a box full of cables and machine-made components. Just like a table or chair. It can't think and it can't talk. In fact, it can do nothing without a programmer. In order for a computer to act smart, a programmer must first write instructions. Those instructions are specific lines of code and the code is in a specific language, called a programming language. However, even if a programmer writes these code instructions, a computer will still not understand them. Programming tools have a compiler, which is also a program, that translates the code in a format that makes it possible to interact with the hardware in your computer to react on these instructions. It is actually much more complicated than that. But what you should understand is that the smart work is done by a programmer and not the computer itself. So, it's also not the programs that are clever. Programs are just sets of instructions written by a programmer to do smart things. A program can therefore do nothing on a computer if a programmer didn't give it an explicit instruction somewhere in the code to do so. If someone tells you about a powerful program, he or she should actually tell you about the powerful programmer. Programming is therefore our superpower. Just like the many spoken languages such as English, French, German, Mexican and so on, there are also many programming languages. And just like there are many different dialects of a specific spoken language, like English for example, some programming languages also have different dialects or flavors. And just like spoken languages have grammar rules, programming languages have syntax rules. If a programmer uses the wrong syntax, the compiler will not understand what the instructions are and the program will show an error. The compiler will therefore not make any guesses to determine what you are trying to achieve. Even if you made a small spelling mistake, it will give you an error. That is because programming languages are strictly defined. We call these instructions code, but although the word may give the impression that programming is cryptic and mysterious, it is actually not so scary and it is not so difficult to learn. Delphi, for example, uses plain simple English words and that is why it is one of the most popular programming languages to learn programming. Delphi actually derives from another programming language called Pascal. There are other programming environments that also use the Pascal programming language. One of these is a tool called Lazarus. You can apply everything that you learn in these courses also in Lazarus, but more about that later. Now, let me show you a few examples of different programming languages. This is a code snippet written in Lazarus. It is not necessary for you to understand everything that you see yet. Just note the English words like procedure, begin and end. This instruction will instruct the compiler to show a message box that reads Lazarus is fun. And this is a code snippet written in Delphi 7. Also note the English words like procedure, begin and end. This instruction will also instruct the compiler to show a message box. This one's message reads Delphi 7 is fun. The third code snippet is written in Delphi 2010. You can also see the English words like procedure, begin and end. This instruction will also instruct the compiler to show a message box. This one's message reads, it is fun to program with Delphi 2010. Notice that all three of these code snippets are exactly the same. I said it before, but I'm going to say it again. Code that you will learn in these lessons can be applied to any version of Delphi and any other Pascal based programming language like Lazarus. It is not necessary for you to understand other programming languages yet, but for the sake of this lesson I'd like to demonstrate two other programming languages. They are Visual Basic and C Sharp. This is a code snippet written in Visual Basic. Visual Basic is a Microsoft programming language and it is also quite easy to learn. Notice the differences in syntax. Visual Basic uses the word SUP, which is the short name for subroutine or subprocedure while our Pascal based languages like Delphi uses the word procedure. This Visual Basic instruction will instruct the Visual Basic compiler to show a message box. And this message reads, Visual Basic is fun. 
Finally, this is a code snippet written in another Microsoft programming language called C Sharp. Although C Sharp is a very popular language, it is a little bit harder to learn. Again, notice the differences in syntax. C Sharp uses the word void, where our Pascal based languages like Delphi uses the word procedure. Also, notice these funny things. In C Sharp, you do not have begin and end statements. Instead, C Sharp makes use of opening and closing curly braces to begin or end a group of instructions. This C Sharp instruction will instruct the C Sharp compiler to show a message box. And this message reads C Sharp is fun. Now you have seen a few languages, but look at the results or outputs produced by all five code snippets. They all produce more or less the same thing. It's like test driving five different vehicles. However, the gears may not be in the same place and the feel that you use may be different. What is important is that the outcomes are the same. All of them will take you from point A to point B. There are many other programming languages like Python, PHP, C++ and so on that I didn't demonstrate here. They all have their following and they all have a place in the industry. So now you probably wonder, if they are all the same, why should I learn Delphi? You may also wonder, should I learn all of these languages? Let me put your mind at ease. I've been teaching programming to different age groups for many years. And I think I understand how a student thinks. Over the years I learned that students find it difficult and frustrating if they struggle and if they do not have fun while learning. Now look at the code snippets again. The less familiar you are with something, the more you will struggle with it, and the more you struggle, the less fun you will have. Delphi, or Pascal, uses plain simple English words. Therefore, it's easier to learn, and you will be more familiar with it. Therefore, it will be more fun to learn. After you have Delphi under your belt, it will then be easier to learn another programming language like Visual Basic or C Sharp. Most of the logic and features that you learn here can be applied to another language. It is just the language or syntax that is different. Most of the time the logic stays the same. Now, if Delphi is a good language to learn programming, does it also mean that it is only useful to students? No, 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 no. Delphi is very powerful. And with every new version it sets the bar even higher. In the previous video you looked at different types of programs that can be created with a programming language. Well, Delphi can be used to create most of those programs. Delphi is just as powerful as any other modern programming language. And don't let anybody convince you that it is inferior. In fact, I know many organizations that use Delphi very successfully to run their businesses. In the next video, we look at a concept that helps us to create impressive programs in a very short period of time. This is called Rapid Application Development or RAD. I'll talk to you again in the next video.